Okay, how does that explain anything? <laughs> Uh, it's it's typical with my JRPG-ish kind of stuff. It's like, no, it doesn't explain anything. What are you talking about here? Yeah. A compliment. I think it was a backhanded compliment. Because now I am going to rearrange this matter into a dungeon. The Reseteer Dungeon. Shopping here, I want. Let it be here. Everybody's picking your trash. The holy boom has ended now. Pick your trash up, people. Level 30 assassin. Yeah, claws. However, since we'll be going to... So I'm going to give him the Ancient Armor, and I still have him the Battle Boots, and some healing items, I think we'll probably need them. Actually, we need to get a food. Lapis Ruins. So this is the first of two secret dungeons that you can only access in um, Endless Mode. The other one is uh, Crystal Nightmare, which who knows when or where that shows up at. This is my first time in this place, so I have no clue what to expect. Have... Seriously, they're half as effective. That's total bullcrap. So far, it seems like it's just regular enemies. Nothing crazy and new like an Obsidian Tower. That's like a lot of the enemies that we've seen so far from other dungeons. <clears throat> Be crazy if it was like a new area, sort of like every floor. Oh, 
crap. What's that? King shell chest? Holy crap. Nice item. Yeah, literally it's enemies from all the dungeons around here. That we've gone through so far. I've seen one from every dungeon so far in here. I think they're they all give the same experience they do in those dungeons, I think, too. They're not getting too much experience from some of these guys. Whereas like that guy gave me a bunch of experience. I am level 60 though, that's another thing to put in perspective here, but still. You think in the new dungeon you get a lot more experience from enemies, but these are all, I think they're all, they're leveled up, but they give you the same experience of what they do in the other dungeons. Oh wow. We're now almost blind. whoop de dee That's the other thing, in this, in this dungeon, almost all the floors have negative, um, negative, uh, bonuses. So there's no positive ones. these guys because after they land on you you're like uh, immobile for quite a while sometimes it takes a while to get them to fall down too friggin pumpkin what's that Flam flam guard flam guard some really powerful I'm finding all kinds of crazy high level items in here. Which is good. I guess there has to be a, a bonus for all the negatives. A whole horde of tentacle monsters. A little sixty one. Actually, no, they all do give you an uh, increased experience, actually. So that guy gave me more experience than he should have. And that's in the pretty small areas, too. I mean, they're getting, like, really valuable stuff. Okay, not that valuable. Really, I guess. Still, I mean... You can't buy this king shell crest anywhere. Full helm. Technically, it is high-level stuff, but it's just not, I guess, not too incredibly valuable. 
Uh, probably compared to the other stuff that in the same category it probably is pretty expensive. Still blind. Cupid's bow. Actually has the harp bow, uh, item uh, thing. Item sprite. Holy crap. Three of them. <laughs> There's the teleport. Oh wow, we got teleported somewhere. Another broken ring, not gonna bother picking that up. It's an ingredient, I think, but. Not interested in ingredients right now. Let me get all the valuable items first. Alright, next floor. So far, it's not too bad. Movement speed increased for everyone, great. Power rest. Just gonna drop that whatever it was. Insect trap. The enemies respawn pretty quick here. Oh, crap. These guys dropped walnut bread. <laughs> what the hell? What are the skeleton doing with walnut bread? In case they get hungry, I guess. There's the teleport. So, we're almost to the first boss. I didn't know they could turn around like that. Oh crap, and once you knock one of them out, they fly around. I've forgotten that little tidbit of information. Should have been nice to know. So then I wouldn't have screwed up on the other thing. Oh, well, now we're That's not different. No, anyway. I've seen those before. 
Alright, so actually we've got a little more distance to travel the other way. God, these enemies respond so quickly. Probably one down there too. Yep. And what do you know? Another dead end with rocks. Seems to be an ongoing theme here. Damn. Trying to get this friggin' B while dodging the, uh, whatever these are, echoes from these I-bat things. Annoying. Annoyingly annoying, even. Alright, time for the first boss. Sam Hain, oh god, two of these guys? Forget what these guys do. Oh, right, they sent out a bunch of these guys. And these, like, ones that fly around on the ground like this. And they vanish. It's actually, um, theme appropriate. It's almost Halloween, so I... Giant pumpkins. Oh my god. I thought one of these guys was hard. Got some good armor on. It's not doing as much damage as it could do. Good god, there's so many of these friggin' spirit dudes flying around. Okay, now we gotta heal. Um, probably gonna use everything I have to heal here. Some SP. Oh crap, that's used to. Okay, we got rid of one of them. Too much crap floating around. There we go, got them both. Not easy, not hard, but not easy either. Um, what do we got for items? Oh, we got plenty. Sell like half of our thing to fill. Onward to the next set of floors. Yeah, here we go. Consumer is now half as effective again. So I think every floor is going to be another from another area. But I think all the enemies will be there. That was interesting. Random freaking off out of the ground. Dead end. What time is it? Five o'clock. I need to pause for a while. Go do some stuff. Oh, crap. That could have been worse. I got up easy on that. What is that? Magical hat. So I've been playing Prey recently, actually. Just started playing it last night. Pretty interesting game. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh, it's a poison crystal, okay. That was something new. Um, it's a pretty interesting game. It's actually really interesting in terms of the, um, the, you know, exploration. Because I'm not even through, I'm barely through, like, the second area, but I've, like, already almost unlocked everything in terms of the, the different abilities. Just because, you know, you can go... There's, like, so 
so many things to explore in like the first couple areas, and as you unlock more things, you can go to more areas that you couldn't do before, so I spent like four or five hours just searching and going through those first two areas, completely almost. I think I've, I've fully explored the first area, um, including unlocking the foundry from the inside. And I'm, uh, the only place I haven't been able to really explore in the second area has been the, uh, uh, psychogenics or psychotronics department. I can't, there's either no way in there through the back way or you have to have a key card to get in the front way or something. That's it. Wow. Holy crap, I'm just getting owned by this thing. That is a small floor. <laughs> Literally just like a couple hallways. Crazy. Small floor. And EXP gain doubled, yes. That is very rare to find. A, something that benefits you and only you. And in such a drastic way. Should be able to get a level or two here. And... Oh, crap, I couldn't stop because I was dodging. I couldn't... Mute the thing and couldn't see where I was going. Wow, well, surprised I didn't die. I was doing better when I was sneezing my head off and couldn't see where I was going than I am when I can see where I'm going and not sneezing my head off. Holy crap, did that guy already respawn? Or were there th I don't think there were three. He can just respond. Crystal. There's like three of them or something. Yeah, those enemies already respond. Jeez. At least I haven't run to any kind of crazy configurations of those yet. But I think I'm pretty sure it's coming. Uh, eventually, we're gonna see like six of them in one hallway or something, and they'll be like instant death. So they'll get trapped inside of a column of them somehow, without being able to get out. Oh wow, nice. That is how you utilize a bomb to kill another bomb. What's that? Messy scroll. Is that a treasure? Must be. A little bit bigger of an area. Sometimes you get a little lucky and can get them right before they lift up if they knock you down, but it's not very common. And great. The last one was a trap. Come on, pick it up. Damn it, Lou. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to pick it up with my sword. Nothing down there. Alright. <sighs> Let's go ahead and try and get a level out of this. Before we go to the next floor where it's going to probably be just like, you die instantly if you are tapped by a stone. Kind of thing. I should just need one more. Got a bunch of enemies over here to go fight. One more. 
probably end up being two more. Yeah. Already close enough to that guy to find him, so I might as well. Alright, 62. Still only has two abilities. Okay, next floor. Nothing at all, interesting. Candy apple. Haven't seen one of those drop for a while. And there's the... Teleport. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, we'll go, we'll leave after this floor. Give you the next boss. So I got stuff I need to do. While I still have some light outside. Well, I'm still gonna fully explore, I'm not gonna half arse this yet. Some pretty good stuff we're finding. The only way to deal with those guys. Somehow I didn't get hit by that guy. I came flying through those guys. That's a dead end. Alright. There either. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go halfway across the map now to get to the next floor. Oh man, I got hit twice. That thing. Alright, floor nine. <laughs> no clue what the next boss is gonna be. Half as effective again. Seems to come up quite a lot. Masticatile dysfunction. Shrimp door. Shrimp door, yeah. It's pretty good. Masticile. Masticatile, rather. Gotta keep my newly created words straight here. Ah, oh, just out of reach. Damn bunny. Another power room. Crap. Damn magic mushroom. Stay still so I can slice you. If this all this is gonna be just like four corridors. Be wouldn't be unusual for what we've seen so far. Nope, it goes elsewhere. Make sure we kill them all. Oh well. So bombed. Ah, 
and a dead end. All right, it's over here. Besides this bomb that almost blew up in my face. Finally, an enemy gets destroyed by the rocks instead of me. I have almost no SP, which is no good. We'll wait till we get over to the boss floor to heal the SP with stuff, because otherwise it's half as effective from our masticatile dysfunction. Oh, hell. What the hell? Yeah, did he? No, he had like a. He didn't have a fan before, did he? Maybe he did. I thought he had like a, a wrench or a crowbar or something. Maybe it was a fan. Or, or he's back for revenge, apparently. Um, Alright, so let's heal. So I have no freaking clue what to expect on this guy. It probably won't be the same as before. If it is, that's kind of. Oh, hell. Oh god, I'm like stuck between him and the freaking mushroom. Maybe he doesn't go for the bad mushrooms as much anymore. Oh no, he still does. Wasn't so bad. Oh wow, we got a rat tail. <clears throat> That's his uh, boss item. What the hell? That's going to be it for today, at least for now. I'll probably have to do more recording later, too. So I'm not sure. This is like probably maybe an hour and a half, so it's not quite enough for what we need. So, But, uh, so, that'll be it for now. I'll do some more later, and... Uh, I'll see you then.